All right, folks, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you happy home brew. I'm going to do a taster today. Um, not tried this one before. It's an Adnams broadside. Yeah, you look at the bottle there. Maybe you look around it as we normally do. If that's focusing, is it? Not sure. Final sentinel. Anyway, it's a broadside is the name of the ale, commemorating the Battle of the of Solby. Strong original, 6.3. A dark ruby red beer, rich in fruitcake flavours. With a wonderful balance of malt and hop flavours. So what kind of, does it tell you what kind of hops we've got in it? It's kind of in Italian and all languages here. Auto contains no. Nope. Regardless, let's crack it open. First initial aroma is quite pleasant. So, what does it say? A dark ruby. What was that we said in the back there? A dark ruby, red beer, rich in fruit cake flavors. Let's try it. Let's see what it looks like. Got this from the local supermarket that apparently every little helps without giving the game away. Well, is this a nice ruby? Oh, it's a beautiful ruby colour, right enough. Look, you're not going to get that much on the camera. I've got I'm behind the light here, and I can verify it's that's a beautiful ruby red. Hmm. Not a lot in the nose. Very, very little in the nose, to be honest with you. It smells like one of them commercial, bland cans of stuff. Hopefully the taste is a bit better, folks. So here we go, let's try it. I must say it tastes better than it smells. The smell is nothing. A bit dry to the mouthfeel. There is kind of fruity flavours in there. Berries. Red, red berries. Apart from that, pretty sweet in the lips. A dark ruby red beer rich in fruitcake flavours with a wonderful balance of malt and hop flavours. Not convinced. It is a very nice colour. <clears throat> I think it's just a bit bland. It tastes a bit like it's not quite, you know, Newcastle used to be really nice in the back in the day to the mass produced it and it lost something that tastes a bit metallic, tinny, canny. Well, this has got a better flavour than Newcastle, but it's still that same blandness about it. Not for me, not for my palate. 
So there we go guys. <clears throat> what would I give it as on a, a scale of five? For nose. For nose, uh, one out of five. It's barely perceptible. It's given in mind this is August and the the hedges are blooming now and I've got hay fever so nose is quite clear but taste there is a hint of a nice flavour in there but it's just overpowered by bland Nah. It's one of the poorest tales I've tasted. Who makes this? Adnam, Southwold, Suffolk, England. Not for me, Adnams. Ad and Adnams. And my taste out of five is one point five. That's my verdict. One for nose, 1.5 for flavour. There we go. Thanks for joining us again, guys. It's try to be honest as I can. I generally like to big beers up, but if it's generally I think it's hopeless, then I'm going to I'm just going to say it. See you on the next one. Hopefully, see you again. And thanks for taking the time out of your day. Catch you on the next one.